When we walk with the Lord in the light of His Word, what a... that in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as this in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost. He was crucified and died and buried. He descended to hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. So you can take your seats. And today, as you know, is a Health and Wellness Sunday, and the theme is Trust in God. And as the health committee, we have prepared a talk for you. And Dr. Ian is on the way, he's coming. And I know you are going to be blessed. So let's uh, read the Psalms, opening Psalms, uh, Psalm number 121. Uh, Psalms 121, it says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot sleep. He, he who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over you, over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forever. That's the end of our Psalms. So let us now rise up and uh, sing the opening Psalm, which will come from uh, page 11, song number 8. So let's be up study as we sing that hymn. Medium, you can... To, to God be the glory, great things he has done, so
you can take your seats. So at this time, I want to give this chance to presentations. And today, as you know, we don't have the choir with us. They have gone to minister at Georgia Church. So I want to take this chance to welcome any uh, individual who has a song or a presentation to come and share it with us. From there, the youth, and then we will proceed on. This is a rare chance where you normally have many presentations, but today we can give a chance to an individual who feels like uh, he can give a presentation to us, a song. So it's your chance. Is there anyone? Okay, let's uh, welcome the youth. Youth, give us a presentation. Youth, it's your chance. Does it mean that uh, when you don't have the church choir, you cannot sing for the Lord? So you, I can see you here. Take a chance and, and give us a, a presentation. Should always be ready. Get a song and present for us. Television, Kama Coffee, they are coming, Omajika Kamua. Yes. Sing for the Lord when you are strong. Oh 
you one thing I can tell you after to remember your wimbo. Um, let it, you know, we, we just sang a song, you know, but there is more to a song. See your tune, Peke, not instruments, the words themselves, you know. So I hope even as you sang that song, you, did not, you, did, you sang it, you were internalizing it. You know, it looked like a prayer. So, yeah, so today all of you are presented. Hakuna mtu mungina atangua present. Kila mtu wa present. A big blessing. Asante, Dr. Thank you for that. So at this time, I want us to welcome our uh, secretary to give us the notices of today. So can you welcome uh, Mr. Patrick in the club? Praise the Lord Church. Bwana Yesu Asifiwe. Uh, today I want you to appreciate someone seated next to you. Mwambie karibu sana and it is good to have you in this service. Yes, today we have the health committee taking us through the service. So it's a healthy service. Amen. So today is the fourth Sunday of the month of October. Uh, in the 42nd Sunday of the year. I want you to feel appreciated, feel at home in the house of the Lord. Uh, and now I want to recognize our very special people, our visitors. If it is your very first time to fellowship with us, uh, we want to welcome you in a special way. I'm going to request you to stand up if you're there. Uh, we will not ask you to talk, so don't be afraid. Yes, I know I can see a few. Yes. Thank you so much for choosing to fellowship with us. We love visitors here in MCK Pico Church. And uh, after the service, uh, our ushers will have a moment with you. They will also guide you on which group you can join us, uh, maybe the youth. Uh, and then we'll continue to know you better. Welcome. Let's appreciate them. <laughs> to our online viewers, uh, thank you so much for uh, following us in our online platforms. Karibuni uh, sana. We hope that you are enjoying our service. Today, the service is led by the Health Committee, and the leader of service is uh, Mrs. Grace Ikiara. She's doing a very good job. Let's appreciate her. Our intercessor today is going to be Mrs. Modaura. Mrs. Modaura, are you there? You can raise your hand. Yes, she's there. So if you have a prayer request, you can forward to her, and we will be sure to pray together with you. Our reader of text is going to be Lindsay, and our preacher today, we have uh, Dr. Mwenda taking us through a talk in the mental uh, wellness, and then our reverend is going to summarize uh, the sermon. Today we are reflecting on the theme, Trust in God. And uh, the following readings, we've already done Psalms 121. We also do Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8 to 13. And then Philippians chapter 4, verse 4 to 9. And finally, Matthew chapter 16, verse 25 to 34. Our contributions for the week starting on 10th of October and ending on 16th of October. This is how we give. Offertory, we give 18,640 shillings. Tithes, we give 20,550 shillings. This was from seven members. We also had uh, the junior church uh, given 3,410 shillings. We had a thanksgiving of 4,300. This was from five members. We also have had a, uh, an offertory uh, from the wedding service. This is the wedding for Mr. and Mrs. K.U. Uh, we raised 4,640 shillings. And the total collection for the week was 51,540 shillings. Let's appreciate ourselves for the giving. Next week's service will be led by the diaspora team. So the diaspora team, kindly take note of that, that uh, you will be leading the service next Sunday. Then on 20th of October, 20th of November, 20th of November, 
the church choir will have a fundraiser. This is to facilitate uh, in their shoot. So let's plan to support them uh, in this course. Today, as you all know, and as you can see, we have empty seats here. Our church choir is not with us today. They are at MCK Chuja Church, uh, where they are ministering. Uh, they were invited by the choir uh, from Juja Church. Today they have a church choir Sunday, and that's where our church choir is. They will be ministering there. We are reminded about uh, the pledge cards. Uh, those of us who have not uh, collected their pledge cards, you can do that from our ushers uh, for the year 2022-2023. Uh, this year, our thanksgiving is dedicated towards the church expansion. So if you've not collected your card, kindly do so. Collect it from our ashes. You will fill uh, in duplicate. One part uh, you will forward to our treasurer. Uh, the other part, you will be left with it. On the back of the card, uh, you will write your prayer request, those things that you're trusting God with. Uh, and our reverend will have a moment to pray for you. Today, after the service, the health committee will have uh, will conduct a blood pressure and a blood sugar test. So, kindly uh, let's consult with them as they take uh, this activity, as they conduct this activity. Be part of it. Know your status. So, give them a humble time as they conduct this session. Today we were supposed to have our treasurer taking us to our financial report for the third quarter, but uh, since most of our members are not here, we will do that next Sunday so that we can all move together. That is all that I had for you today. Be blessed and have a wonderful week ahead. Thank you very much, our secretary, for those notices, uh, we thank God for you. At this time, I request you to rise up so that we do the praise and worship, and then we do the intercessory prayers so that we move to the next step. We have a lot today for you. We have a talk by Dr. Ian, and uh, so let's be upstarting first. We do the praise and worship. Praise and worship team, come forward uh, so that we... We praise. And then uh, Mrs. Mudaura, you will be interceding for us. Praise God. Praise God. Are you happy this morning? Yes. Are you happy this morning? Yes. Yes. Uh, it's a great morning that the Lord has made for us all. And we rejoice and be happy in Him. Uh, so I want us to dance for God even as we praise Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Makofi kwa Yesu.
Special of worship. Ya 
your father God, those who don't have redeem our father God, even money, God, you are going to come through for them, Jehovah. Thank you even for the men, the women, my father God. Redeem our father, you have fought for them, Jehovah God. We can say, Lord, that God, you are good. You are good, Jehovah. You are good, redeem our father God. And now, redeem our father God, we pray even for those who may be having needs. Redeem our father God in our midst. Redeem our Father God, you tell us that God we trust in you, my Father, and that is what exactly we are going to do, Jehovah God. For those needs which cannot even be mentioned, Jehovah God, we lay them unto you, my Father. Meet your people at the point of their needs, Jehovah God. May it be money, Jehovah. May it be even wisdom, Jehovah God. Grant them, Jehovah God, for you are a faithful God. Thank you, Redeemer Father, even for the sick God. We pray for them, my Father. Those who parents, they may be ailing, Jehovah God. Those who may be here or far, Jehovah God. Touch them with your healing heart, my Father. You are the great physician who healed all diseases, my Father God. Heal them, Jehovah God, and they will glorify your holy name. Redeemer Father, we thank you for the families, my Father. Redeemer Father God represented Jehovah God. Touch them, Redeemer Father God. Come through for them, my Father. Meet them, Jehovah Father God. Everlasting Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your word, Jehovah God. May it impact our lives, my Father. And this we pray, believing and trusting in your holy name. Amen. Thank you very much. Let's appreciate our intercessor and uh, praise the worship team and also yourselves for that session. Uh, be blessed. So at this time, you want to do the readings. Uh, read our text, come forward, give us the readings. From there, you go to the next item. Praise God, church. My name is Lindsay Gatteri. I'll be taking you through today's readings. Our first reading comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, from verses 8 to 13. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return to it without watering the earth and making it bud and flourish, so that it yields it, it yield seed for the sour and bread for the eater. So is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose of, for which I sent it. You will go out in joy and be led forth in peace, the mountains and hills will burst into song before you, and all the trees of the field will clap their hands. Instead of the thorn bush, instead of the thorn bush will grow the pine tree, and instead of briars, the mitre will grow. This will, this will be for the Lord's renown and for an everlasting sign which will not be destroyed. Our second reading. comes from the book of Philippians, chapter 4, from verses 4 to 9. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice, and the, and the God of peace will be with you. Our third reading comes from the book of Matthew, 
chapter 16, chapter 6, sorry, from verses 25 to 34. The title is, Do Not Worry. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you eat, what, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is life more important than food, and the body more important than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? For who of you by worrying and who of you by worrying can add a single hour to his life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the lilies of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that, if, if that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow, is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, O of little faith? So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. There ends our readings. Thank you. Appreciate Katuri for the word of readings. Uh, at this time, uh, as I told you earlier, today is the uh, health team service, and it's also called the health and wellness service. Service, and we have prepared something for you in the synod, not only here about mental health. So. Dr. Ian is here with us, and we really appreciate Dr. Ari because we have seen Dr. Ari grow from Sunday school, and now he's the medical officer in charge somewhere. In fact, he was from night duty, from Yeri, and he has, tried, he has made it today to come here and give us a talk. We really appreciate him and thank God for you. And I want us to appreciate him in a good way. So let us, to find here my coffee, to simame as we clap. Let's do that as we welcome our doctor Ian to give us the talk. Thank you very much, Ari. We appreciate you and we are really humbled by your sacrifice. So take your seat and uh, just uh, give him your ears and he's going to tell us more about our mental health. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, praise God. Vanessa is here. Um, so as I've been told, today is our Health Sunday, um, and the theme, the theme of, our, of this service, this time around, okay, for those who don't know me, my name is Ian Mwenda Mbabu. Um, I am a medical officer, a doctor in KNH or there, and I thank God for, um, for using me in that way. So today, our, our, our theme is on mental health, yeah? Uh, mental health and wholeness. Mental health and wholeness. Yeah. Um, so, how many of us here can define health? How many of us who can define health, Gina Health? Health. Okay, to answer you, and I want to shule, and it's a poor Mr. Howe. Um, to answer your question, who can define health? Simple. I'm not going to kill our party. I'm healthy. Health, health. Um, okay. Um, Ozazi, the graduates. Um, who can define health? Yes. This is an interactive session. Healthy soulness or 
the normal functioning of the body. Okay, wholeness, normal functioning of the body. Um, there's no wrong answer. What is health? It's the psychological, mental, and the physical well-being. I'm going to give you psychological, mental, physical. They know physical. It's a state of well-being, psychologically, socially, and emotionally, but not absence of diseases. Okay. <laughs> um, so I think all of you are on the right path. Yeah? But here I'm sure they may carry what um, WHO de defines health as. Health is the absence of disease. You understand? Health is the absence of disease and the state where there is physical, social emotional wellness. So it has to encompass, let's make way, health is not only the absence of disease, but a state of well-being in both physical, mental, social, and even economic states. Yeah. Because all those now is gonna make up um, the state of the health, you know, healthy. And what is wholesomeness? If health, that is health, what is being wholesome? I mean, yeah, deep kidogo. So basically, um, being whole, wholesome, wholesomeness, wholesomeness is from the word wholesome, isn't it? So wholesome is anything that leads to good health. If something is wholesome, in a Malaysia, it's, in a, it, it opens you up to health, isn't it? Yeah. So wholesomeness is living a life that is, um, that the activities of your daily living are geared towards making you healthy, that is being wholesome. So, yeah. so when you talk about mental health, um, that's just an aspect of being healthy. You have to be healthy psychologically, mentally. For now, now to me, to about diseases, we are now talking of mental health. So, um, many of us here, who knows a disease, a mental health disease, or a mental health condition? Many of Yes, this is me. I'm saying schizo, schizophrenia. Ushe yona mtu ana jiongelesha, ana sema naona vitu nini? Schizophrenia. Kuna hiyo, another one. Engineer anataka kusema nyingine. Oh, okay. Yes. Bipolar. Umesikia bipolar? Bipolar, bipolar disorder, si ndio? Um the this mental health conditions has it and we our parents in a disease. They are called disorders. Mental health, um, no bipolar disorder. Okay, another one. Yes. I mean, say AD, ADHD. You know, say my uncle, I'm about how do Attention deficit hyperactivity disease disorder disorder. So I say disease. Attention deficit. Hyperactivity disorder. Aoni wale masikianga mtoto wangu, hosijua ko, eh? Anaguza hapa kule, hapa kule, hapa kule. Yeah? They are very eh, excessively. Uh, another one? So the point I'm driving to is that mental health disorders, they are very many. There's even depression. Depression, um, at time it's referred as major depressive disorder, MDD. So una, you'll find that when in the medical field, they have classified them into different categories. Yeah? They are behavioral, um, attention, there are those even substance abuse disorders, and because you can use a lot of um, illegal drugs, how do you, you lose your mental wellness? So now, I think Nimenda Mbali Sana to the diseases. Um, so when you talk about we talk about uh, mental health, like what are the causes, what can lead you, um, what are the proposed causes of poor mental health? 
what are the proposed courses oh, kulingana na oh, ukiangalia kama kama ukiangalia unaona you think mtu ako na hiyo attention what, what do you think causes those those issues because the good thing the good thing about um, our god is that he has given us access to everything including knowledge including whatever whatever is bad you know what causes that that bad thing you know and that is why at times in some uh, healthcare practitioners wana kanga ni kama like they are crazy it's because they know what is causing and they know the the solutions so if you approach it in that aspect what 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 can lead to poor mental health nezo apatia moja genetics mchaisikia um wanasema hiyo familia kuna kuanga na mtu hata alikuwa ni ugonjwa yeah genetics there are some mental health conditions which are um passed down through through genetics uh, but mostly it happens it, it has a very high incidence in in siblings who are twins when you have twins it is a condition that that one of the twin has most likely the other twin will also have and also now that aspect of um be it being carried down from the previous uh, gen, um, the previous family lines and um as we have also heard there are some individuals who are even predisposed to alcoholism simply because you know uko na gene ya kukunywa pombe yeah, have you ever heard that there are people who eh uh, una like their families that have those stories of um excessive alcohol intake and it's very easy for the when you combele like the future generations to also fall into the same because if they don't gene iko iko already iko hapo ya kukunywa inangoja tu sasa inangoja pesa inangoja stress inangoja those two factors which now it takusukuma uingie ba so at times it's good to know your family history so that you can also work on your on your health and wellness on your future sindio yeah so apart from genetics um there are those there's the now let's go to the en- the environment um zinaitwa uh, the psychological factors yeah okay um so psychological factors such as um bereavement there are those factors in life which lead to a lot of stress um loss of work uh hata kuanguka mtihani mi nikiwa shule nikisoma medicine i used to be depressed every year almost every year yeah mtihani nakuja unaanguka unapata depression unapona nakuja unaanguka hivi so at times this you know you might and oh 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 uone kama mtihani ya campus ni kitu jumepita but someone who's in that stage in life that that event will mean a lot to them and at times these life events they, they they lead us to to poor mental health they can tip us over zinaitwa stress factors um you know these conditions you have to look for they are triggers kuna kitu imefanya ifanyike maybe um a relative was lost or maybe financial hardships um unakuta as i said again um if, if students at times even um failing in examinations in that they can tip you over to to those conditions um so and even failed relationships kaibu ni sahau hiyo failed relationships can also lead to like the factors are many you know mm-hmm. and so the, the reason why i'm giving these factors is as i told you earlier you must make sure you don't think that every problem you are entitled to being to being depressed ama wewe you are entitled to being alcoholic there is a factor that led you to that alcoholism there is a factor that made you become have low moods even people who have bipolar these are they are factors that have led them to to that condition um apart from the um the psychosocial factors there are stressful environments tumesema hiyo and then there is biochemical at times there are people who have um at times there can be an imbalance of different hormones in your body unakuta kuna hormones ziko juu zingine ziko chini so this this individuals at times they they are they tip over to to his of mental conditions yeah um your mana one of the forms of treatment for these conditions is medication 
simply this this drugs in asadia tuku they help to balance the hormones in your body which now reduce i think wasana wanajua ukikula chocolate unasikianga aje the the ladies when you eat chocolate how do you feel i i hear i hear that chocolate when they eat chocolate they feel, they feel happy am i is it is it true skiza skiza utaambiwa oh you let a chocolate nini you give them chocolate unasaimaiwa madhambi zako zote hiyo hiyo si uchawi anafanya ni medicine because actually things like chocolate they have some aspects there's a hormone called serotonin it is a feel good hormone when you take um easy kama mtu anapenda kwenda oh anapenda window shopping ama kubai kuna watu when they go shopping when they buy a lot of things they feel good it's because your body has associated buying with production of your hormone serotonin which makes you feel good so um ladies over the years wamejua chocolate makes them feel good so the moment they eat chocolate um the body recognizes that and produces this hormone called serotonin inafanya unasikia vizuri Eh, so si eti ame ati akona ati alijikaza akona pesa ni medicine ni kawaida ukikula utasikia hivyo um so now that's the same concept that the medications and the drugs they use they just um evoke um hormonal responses which reduces the level of depression the hizo sio yeah um so there is also another factor that leads to this condition in it our personality personality factors there are people who are very they are very emotional they are very anxious you can have a certain personality which will lead you to a certain condition for instance there are people who are very perf- they are perfectionist any yeye lazima vitu zake zivende vile anataka i'm sure mmesikia your perfectionist they, sh- they end up having um, conditions like ocd obsessive compulsive disorder where they, are, they want things to be done in a way yeah Uh, so so now i've given you all those factors and now this goes on to um to to further justify the need for us having a holistic approach in life because you see that um for you to have poor mental a poor mental state it's a whole myriad of factors ndio ni combination ya vitu mingi sana sio kitu moja pekee and um So as I said there are very many conditions but just allow me allow me to touch on a very common condition sio kama hii inaitwa depression major depressive disorder so I'll give you a few symptoms um, that can help you know or or uh, become cautious of your um, mental condition in terms of depression so um, in our field in the medical field we have we we make diagnosis using um like uh unafuatanga ni kama manual lazima upate maybe like you must find at least four four symptoms which have been happening for this period for you to conclude that you are this way so some some of the symptoms that qualify someone to be having um might qualify someone in, to be having depression include one you know it was um having a having a depressed mood okay having a depressed mood nearly every day or yeah having a depressed mood and mostly unaweza kuta sio yeye atakwambia it's people who are going to notice asema kitambo yeye analikuwa hivi siku hizi is very amenyamaza amenyamaza is very silent yeah most of the days mostly it's people like colleagues who are going to notice so having a depressed mood in that kwa depressed mood they can also present with being sad a lot of the time wako very sad and they are very tiafu wanapenda kulia sana they feel hopeless yeah so that uh, that's one of the symptoms um a depressed mood with um those associated feelings of sadness excessive t- excessive tearing and um lack of hope number two, a diminished interest in pleasurable activities kama niko apenda kucheza guitar kidogo kidogo i don't feel like playing the guitar Um, things that you used to find them as pleasurable you no longer find them as pleasurable 
that is another, another symptom. Number three, significant weight loss or weight gain. Kufu kiyo na mtu wana gain weight. Okay, sister malizi your statement. <laughs> yeah, but um, because now, you see, when someone is depressed, they, there are people who resort to a lot of eating. Na kuna ingine wata wata mungu. Glory he sheds on our way. While we do his good will, he abides with us still, and with all who will trust and obey. So, your sleep pattern can be an indicator. The other thing is psychomotor agitation. Yani, kukasirika haraka sana. Sikuzi ya anto ukimambia kitu. Anyawaka. So people, unakuta, you become very irritable. Uki, guza kilogo tu, umekasirika, yeah? And then feelings of worthlessness. You feel as if you don't, your life does not matter. You have no role um, that, where we, yeah? Those feelings of worthlessness. And then another one is reduced level of concentration. You can't concentrate, you can't make decisions. Um, Kiongea na mtu, your mind are just... Eloped, Nenda. Yeah, you can't, you can't concentrate. And now some, to a severe form, they enter a phase of having suicidal ideations. When now they start thinking of themselves as being worthless and, um, and hopelessness, it, it, it may become severe to the point of someone thinks, by the way, do I need to leave? And when someone starts getting such ideas, is in a very severe state of depression. So, so these are some of the symptoms. I've given you nimetumia depression because it's a very common condition. Um, it, it occurs commonly. And it's very easy for you to notice in someone or even someone to report. Yeah. So um, when, when they come, when, when, when these conditions occur, it doesn't have to, usione una gain weight alafu ushtuki usemi ukona depression. Um, at times we quantify it. We, it must have, these symptoms must be at least three, a minimum of three. Lazima pia zikwezi may happen for at least six months. Okay? Um, okay, six, so, so six weeks. Six weeks, and where uh, most of the days you are having those symptoms. So, now that can be a trigger which can push you to knowing you need to seek care. You need to talk to someone. You need to okay, evaluate yourself. Uh, So I think we, I can also, because another condition which is very common is bipolar. Acha tu niongele pia yo. Bipolar disorder, bipolar in Amanisha too. Basically, bipolar, they have two states. They can either, they can either be depressed, let to know about depression, or they can have symptoms of, it's called mania. Then they are very active. Yeah? They can either, on a kwanga, either of the sides. There are moments when they are very talkative, very active, and there are moments when they are very depressed. That is bipolar. Um, some, some, so some of the symptoms in bipolar is they usually have the... So they have a lot of increased activity. And as amka, atembe, atembe for like, kutoka yapa, I didn't even Nairobi, or even walk out to Nairobi, come back. They have an increased activity, which is very purposeless. How is it going to be I'm walking because I'm going to do this and this? Purposeless, acti increased activity. And then, incre talkativeness, increased talkativeness. That's another symptom of mania. Difficulty in concentration, they can't concentrate and they are easily distracted. And then, they have increased... They have um, increased um, behaviors which are, they, um, uh, okay, R -r wrong behaviors, like they, they spend a lot of money, spending sprees, um, reckless behavior, irresponsible behavior. And then increased sociability, or like they want to be social a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, so, so I just wanted you to have a, a uh, basic overview. You need depression, mania, so bipolar. So, assuming someone has these conditions, um, is there a treatment? Kuna matibabu? 
Acha turudi tena kwa class. Nani anaweza niambia assuming now someone has um, a, a mental condition, what do you think are some of the forms of treatment you can employ? I'm asking you this because ni kitu pia wewe unaweza fanya. It's something that is very it's not be, it doesn't have to come from a person who is a doctor. Yeah. So what are the forms of treatment for these conditions, um, these mental conditions? Um, let's work with, let's deal with depression, and you're bipolar. Anyone? Yes? You can seek guidance. Where? Counseling. Yes. Counseling. Okay, that's one. Counseling. Another one. By showing love. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and um, avoiding stigma. How they should not be in the society. Another form of treatment, yes. I'm a summer talk therapy. Kuongea. Kuongea ni dao. Talk therapy. Another one. Nesao madao. Medication. Sindio. You can use medication. Ayasa. Ocha, ocha ni wapangia. So, for now, when you come to the treatment, utangalia, there are three categories. There is physical treatment, so, um, psychotherapy, psychotherapy, alakupia, pharmacotherapy, yani madawa. So those three. Um, physical therapy, um, they are, I don't know if you have ever heard of patients who, who now, they usually, they are given shock, on a shock cure. Miskia kama yo? No one has ever heard that. Yeah. Um, there's a form of treatment where physical therapy where they they sh they give a patient uh, a very moderated form of um, shock. They connect on the easy part, mbili za kicho, hapa na hapa, and then they inechangwa electroconvulsive therapy, ECT. And hapa kama shock kidogo, alafu akili yako ina, kama ina jump start you, ina kumbuka, oh. It happens. Especially uh, Madare, it ha kila siku watu wana pigwa mastima huko. Oh, shit, okay. And, and it, ha it helps a lot, yeah? So, kuna hiyo physical therapy, uh, 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 nasema ni kama ku jump start akili. Si na kumbuka, oh, ni kona serotonin, na faa ni toe. Na toe. Uh, so, now it continues. Um, in physio phys physical therapy, there's also, you can also use light. Light therapy. There are some forms of light, um, and different um, light lights that evoke different feelings. Yeah. Do you like? Do you, have you ever been told for you to sleep well at night? Make sure the room is as dark as because your mind in a journey can only give you this. Yeah. So one of the way of even having therapeutic sleep, good sleep, is make sure your room is totally dark. Utalala uh, So light therapy. They usually use different forms of light, different colors, and it helps the, the client to feel a different way. So after, even in physical therapy, they can also do now surgery. When you end up a part of the brain, and in a car, um, there are those parts of the brain which are related to different feelings. They can go and remove that part, and then you, yeah, like neuro, neurosurgery. Um, so from physical therapy, Number two is psychotherapy. To me, some psychotherapy ni now uh, whatever we counseling your to, things that now relate um, with um, kuongea. There are different forms of therapy. Kuna yo behavior therapy, behavior because if you are eating a lot because you are depressed, I should tell you that if you feel depressed, usikule, you do this. Ama? And it's to change your behavior. So, and even for us, we should understand that if we find ourselves in a 
in a state that we are, we have a behavior that is not, is unbecoming, you should learn how to model your behavior. You learn, if, you are, if I fail exams, I usually drink a lot. So the issue is drinking, it's not failing the exam. So therefore, next time if I fail, in, if I fail a lot, maybe what I'm, I can do what? I can go out and swim. I might do, yeah? You change your, you model your behavior, behavioral therapy. So now there are people who have specialized in these forms of um, intervention, and ukalisha chini, and akwambizo vitu zote. Then there's another behavior, uh, therapy called cognitive, beha cognitive behavioral therapy. Basically, na manisha, the way you think affects how you, how you act. It's a CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy. So the therapist is going to sit down with you and take you through a system of, it's like you are reflecting on yourself. Anakuliza, wewe, unafikiri, do you think you are, maybe you are depressed because you, you are not worthy or, yeah? So they lead you down a path of discovering yourself. In, that, in such a way you can realize that your, your emotions and your, your emotions should not lead you to doing something. So there are other, there are other forms of therapy Maybe those who are anxious, there's a therapy called flooding, flooding, flooding therapy. Any kamu no kitu, you assuming people who are afraid of the lift. Unagopa lift unamua leo na panda from first floor to twentieth floor. You flood yourself with that fear. Your point in Afrika Mahali na your mind just gets in Ogopa Hadi is your gopa tena. Now you come back to being normal. And there are other there are other forms of therapy. So Maybe I want now to, to, as I conclude, I want us to also realize that um, in psychotherapy, we can also employ like aspects of the Bible, you know, like your, the word of God. One of the biggest, um, biggest factors that leads to these mental conditions is self-worth, yeah? Self-worth is one of the things that leads us to, that down that path, there are poor mental health. So um, knowing our worth and knowing who we are again from the word of God can be of great help, even in terms of our health. And the last form of treatment, number three, is pharmacotherapy. So even if you madawa, um, that is medication. Um, so we don't like going to medication first. We try iso zingine. See how you are shocked, Kwanza. Kuongea, the psychotherapy. We try talking first. Um, if that doesn't help, we can do medication kidogo. If if become severe, now that's mambo ya kupigwa stima, surgery, nyingi hapo. Um, but I think I'm, I'm done. Um, who has learned something new? Okay, so, so as, we, as we leave here today, no let us someone is behaving in a way they never used to behave, be bold enough either to approach them or, or raise alarm. You don't have to wait for um, the severest forms of uh, manifestation, suicidal ideation, suicide. We can still be our brother's keeper. Kamu ukosawa, what I usually say, in this life, you are here because of, there's a purpose. You're not here to eat. There's a, there's a reason why you are here. Yeah, and it may be because of other people. It may be maybe if you see this guy looks a bit depressed. You approach them, you talk to them, they feel better. So let's be ambassadors of Christ even um, through um, the whole mental health um, aspect. Uh, any question? Yes. But thanks, Doc. I don't know. I've not heard you talk about uh, anxiety disorder, and I'm asking if the medication can be addictive in case uh, you have a client. Okay, so there are anxiety disorders. They are also there. Um, they, they, I think they have basically the same triggers, even the soma factors, that cause anxiety. And as I told you earlier, one of the forms of treatment of anxiety disorders 
Nizo in psychotherapy, if the flooding, flooding, you can flood with that, that behave, that the whatever is making you anxious. Kama ni umbo zina kushtuanga, or if it's your, because there's always a reason why they're anxious. They're not always anxious. They sound like different anxious. And now if they get to the level of taking medication, there's some medication which are very addictive. In, uh, in, um, in mental health, yeah? But the good thing is, with follow-up, the, the doctor can know that you, because usually on a, on a, either on a ungeza or on a punguza, depending on how you are rea how you are behaving. If you go this time on on a leo, you look happier, they will reduce the dose. They reduce the dose and you can't take more than that. And they usually, with, with good follow-up, you can easily um, control their medication. But if not, they get to a point where they are dependent on the medication, now that has to be taken care of from that point. You, you, they, can't, they should not, they should not, yeah. And if now they withdraw the medication, but they won't stop it, Kabisa, Unapunguza. You can't just stop. If they are addicted, you can't just stop them. You just you go reducing pole pole. With the combination now with the psychotherapy, yeah. But it happens, but it's not common, sana. Because again, those, those medications, they're not very pleasant here. Yeah. Yeah. Another question? Just to, to know if it's treatable or it's long-term management. You see, I, I told you about the causative factors, the factors which cause. If it's a factor that can be removed, like now if it's failing exams, if, if, if it's a stress in the, a stressor in your life, an event that happened that can made you become, have that condition, if it's eliminated, even your condition is going to improve. Because no one is born um, with a mental health condition. There's some who you're just predisposed. You're not born being depressed or having attention deficit hyperactivity. You are predisposed. There are some factors in life, maybe your environment, which tips you over to that condition. Um, so most of them, first of all, they are managed, and then they can get to the level of being treated. It's not a chronic. It's a chronic illness, but it can easily get to a level where you are free. If they empl um, that's the reason they start with psychotherapy before they go to drugs. Because they can be having it, but all they do is psychotherapy. They just go for counseling. So they are managed, and with time, they can also be treated. Yeah. Another question? Can a ten years kid suffer from anxiety? Ameuliza, can a ten year old suffer anxiety? Nana za jibuyo? Yes. There's something called separation. Separation anxiety. Kwa watoto mostly, it comes in the form of your separation. That they used to live with a, a caregiver, a mom, kidogo kidogo, they're not living with them. So they become very anxious. And, and then also they can also become they can also get the other forms of anxiety, the general um, the phobias. And they are afraid of crowds or even afraid of small spaces or general anxiety. They can get they can. Yeah. The last question. My question is, are there forms of foods that can cause anxiety, especially to children? Food. Yeah, because when I did my training, we are told that children should not take sugars, wheat, milk, some of the children. And when we see, we, I, I teach in a special school, and those children are not given sugars, because if you give them, they will never be settled. So I wonder, to other people like me or anybody else, can those foods cause the anxiety? So um, I don't know. In my, in my short career, <laughs> I, I don't think I've come across food as a causative factor of a mental condition. 
I think you know, uh, if you give them sugary stuff, they just become active. They will become active like Isha or Atulia. So now the reason is you're not with them at night, you see how they behave when they're hungry. You know, but for the food, it's, it just gives them energy. So you know, initiate now on your know, hyperactivity, you no. Know, yeah. That one will just it it will manifest food cannot it cannot trigger a, psycho, a psychological condition. Yeah. Tufunge sasa, tufunge kikao. Thank you. Uh, I would like to know to what extent uh, as a medic are you able to know that uh, this person needs drugs because of the mental disorder? And secondly, uh, uh, you realize some people when they are given the, the drugs now, they entirely depend on the drugs. Is, is it possible for this person, this person with a mental disorder, perhaps you sit them down and address the issue other than using the drugs? Thank you. So, um, I think the way we said, the first treatment is not drugs. The first form, even we, we try as much as possible not to go to medication first. The first form of treatment is psychotherapy, coangulation. Now, if that one fails, now you go to, to um, medication. Um, you ask if we, we know that they don't need the drugs. So every time when they are reviewed in the clinic, you just look at the symptoms. When is the symptoms? You just, how do you, comparing how they used to feel earlier, and how they are feeling at that time, it can inform your decision on either to reduce the dose or to increase. And now that is happening in, in tandem with the counseling because you want them to be off the medication. But if, if I see counseling is not working, I have to introduce something else, which now is the medication, but now slowly. Yeah? And then if, so you, it's, it's, a, it's a game of just balancing. You have to increase the counseling and the therapy to a point where now they, they can start going off medication. Their symptoms are improving, they know who they are, on a GLA. Doki Dogo, they're not using medication. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you so much for your attention. I know it was a bit heavy, but I hope you have picked something. And you can help someone tomorrow. Um, be blessed. That was powerful. Thank you very, doc, uh, very much, Dr. Ian. I just want to add one or two uh, items uh, concerning alcohol. Dr. Ian has told us that there are some people who are born with the genes that are alcohol. So for the youth, it's just to add not to start. Because you might start, and then you, you become an, an, an alcoholic throughout your life. And then for the parents, uh, take care of your children. Do not introduce, or at least if you drink, don't drink when your children are there because you can be the source of making your child just the asip can make your child become an alcoholic. Then concerning children, uh, okay, I'm a nutritionist. I just want to add there. I want to say that uh, processed foods are not the best. So it is good to give natural foods, stop issues that uh, eat me. Yeah, chips. Because uh, when you give processed food, there are some nutrients that the brain lacks, especially the omega-3. And you also encourage breastfeeding the children because of the, those omega-3 fatty acids, which are very important for the brain. Mesquia manene, your brain, some hormones. So when you breastfeed your, your baby, you give a good start. You give those uh, omega-3 fatty acids to the brain. And even children who have got uh, the ADH, attention deficient, uh, that's hyperactivity. When they are fed with omega-3, that is a uh, fatty fish, and also whole grains and fruits, they improve. So it is going to feed your uh, children with uh, whole foods, fruits and vegetables, and to avoid processed foods. And that is all for now. I know it is a hot topic. It was a great one. Have you enjoyed? So if you have got more questions, uh, Dr. Tari is here with us today the whole, or the whole of the afternoon. So he's going to expound more and he's going to answer some of your questions. Also, Dr. Tari, you had a list of, it's something that said you give us a list of, uh, a checklist. 
a personal checklist to check whether you are mental. Okay, we all have some degree of mental illness. We all have at least something. But uh, that checklist, Ian said, you give us a list, you check yourself. You want to come, where are you? Then from there, you can, uh, he can guide you on uh, how to be assisted. So thank you very much, Dr. Ali, for that powerful session. I know you have learned a lot. Let's give him a better clap for that. So at this time, we will rise up. Uh, we sing a song to welcome Rev. He's going to give us a word or two, uh, a sermon. So you can project for us that song. As we rise up, we welcome the preacher, our Reverend. Page 82, page 107, song number 82, more about Jesus. We sing stanza one because of time. exactly five minutes in my sermon today because um, everything that uh, was prepared for this service has been given has been delivered mine is just to summarize from the scripture from the scripture what and why we are also inviting why we invite the people in Mendic or in the medical field, especially in the month of October. Methodist Church in Kenya is known to have a health and wellness Sunday. And this health and wellness Sunday will discuss different topics. I'm using a, ma um, um, a mask today. I was, um, we, we did a walk on, when, on uh, Kenyatta Day with the Ngoigwa Fellowship. And so the dust affected me and uh, I started feeling a little bit uh, of um, if, as if I want to get catch a flu. And so today I said, let me protect everyone, and I wear my mask. And that's why I'm on my mask. It's not uh, something that is uh, uh, very dangerous. I want to mention that uh, every October, in the month of October, as the country and the world marks health, either cancer, week and this as Dr. has mentioned to us is our we uh, mental wellness month mental wellness month method church in kenya is also agreeing with what is happening in the society today that there are challenges that we are facing and i'm very happy that uh, there are a lot there's a lot of a lot of notes are made from what Dr. has talked here and uh, to summarize this from the word of god is what he has not mentioned about our spiritual well-being. That our spiritual well-being will lead also to our mental well-being, social well-being, and all the well-being that we require in life. I'm Reverend Rosia Kimad, if there's any new uh, person, and Christ is Lord and Savior of my soul. The scripture that we read today from the uh, Isaiah, from Prophet Isaiah, Philippians, and uh, the book of uh, Matthew, or the Gospel according to St. Matthew, mentions several things that Christ, one, Christ mentioned to his disciples. He talks about the CBT that the Dr. has mentioned or has taught us here. 
which is cognitive behavior therapy, whereby the things that occupy our minds most will lead us to a certain behavior. And therefore, during the times of Christ, they were facing crisis as we are facing today. We have just come from a crisis of what? COVID-19. We have come from, we have joined or we have entered into other crises that are caused by war in Ukraine, which has made inflation very high today. And we are facing all those challenges. We are facing drought. And therefore, there is every reason that each one of us, or many of us, will have anxiety, will suffer from anxiety in one way or the other. And especially men. I don't know, Daktari, what you have to answer because we men are affected the most. Is it true? Is it true, Daktari? I don't know what happens to men. Yeah? And uh, men like Zach who is sitting out there, they are worried if they are going to get married. <laughs> And uh, Kina Karaja and others, Karaja is not here, they have left for Georgia. And others, what is happening? Shilingi Mekosa, Pesa Mepotea, what's happening? And so they get so worried. I don't know if ladies get worried of the sea. Uh, you will tell us more. So Christ was talking to the disciples and was talking to the disciples specifically at such a time when they were under the rule of the Romans and they were facing a lot of challenges. There was also a lot of poverty that was affecting that and affecting the country then. And many other challenges. And therefore, Christ tells them, Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life and what you eat or what you will drink. Or about your body. What you wear is not life more than food and body, more than clothing. Christ was telling them to tone down their anxiety. The things that they are facing today may be short-lived. They will come or they will come out of them. He continued to say in verse 28, chapter 6, verse 28 and 29. And why do you want worry? Why do you worry? He repeats again about clothing. Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor have spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in his glory was not clothed like this. Talking about the nature, observing nature. I think there's, a, there's something that uh, Daktari has mentioned about even the, the, the nature that we face, the face of the, uh, the nature that we live in. There is also therapeutic nature. There is, there is therapy that will come from nature as we observe it. There are those who love flowers. When they are presented with flowers, they feel happy. And all those things, as he mentioned about eating uh, chocolate, I now know why chocolates are loved by ladies a lot. And so, <laughs> I don't know if you are going to eat more. I hear that it's becoming expensive, but uh, probably you can afford. <laughs> I've eaten uh, kitungu saumu, doctor. And sometimes when I eat kitungu saumu, I feel happy. I don't know what is that. <laughs> and there's something uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Ikiara mentioned about natural foods, isn't it? So I think I am, I, I am now on the right track to feel happy. Therefore, do not worry about that one. Therefore, do not worry saying, what will we eat or what we'll drink, what we'll wear and all that. Christ is telling them that don't worry about the things that you are asking, the many questions that you ask about yourself and all that you are walking, that the challenges that you face. So don't worry about tomorrow. Uh, for, uh, and we'll tom uh, so do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will we'll, we'll bring its own, uh, its own. Today's trouble is enough for today. This is from Revised Standard Version. I really love the way it says. So do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will bring worries of its own. Today's trouble is enough for today. Hallelujah. So don't worry about tomorrow. Don't be anxious. What is going to happen for me tomorrow? If I'm going to marry Zach, if I'm going to marry or not. <laughs> because of the, the, the lack of that. And Paul says in uh, Philippians chapter six, 4 verse 6, Don't worry about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be known to God. What Paul is saying is this. Can you present also your request to God? 
If you are anxious, if you are suffering anxiety, please present your request to God. I see I've exceeded with two minutes. God is watching in his word in eternal. God is always watching us. And his word is eternal in all times of crisis and pain. This is what he tells, in it, it tells us in Isaiah. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than earth, so are my ways higher than the ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. In other words, God is saying he is willing and ready to hold us and to walk with us. So don't be anxious. He is willing to carry us and go with us. And then verse 11 says, So shall my word be, uh, so shall my word be that goes out of my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in thing for which I sent it for. When I yesu as if went. The word of God is a sure way of keeping yourself safe and remaining relaxed and waiting on God. I am not saying that this is an opium. Those who have, who have studied, especially areas of psychology, and like Dr. Tari, they know of a man called um, uh, Karl Marx who said that the religion is an opium of, of the masses. We are not talking about the mass opium here. We are talking, or what God is reminding us, is that in all the challenges and anxieties and the things that we go through, he is willing to walk with us. We are not saying that you will go and sleep and relax. Because David says, I look up at the mountains. Where does my help come from? They show that he was working. He was willing. He was walking on a journey. But he says, I trust in God to overcome or even to climb those mountains. Brothers and sisters, as I conclude, our effort is also a part of God's plan for you to live a, faithful, a, a, a peaceful and a faithful life. Our effort is also part of God's plan for you to live a peaceful and a fulfilling life. So your effort are also, is also needed. You take a direction. Dr. has mentioned to us all of that and uh, uh, Mrs. Sikiara that we also need to take effort. There is also something that we need. There is something that we also are supposed to do. And this is what Paul tells the Philippian church. In Philippians chapter 4, verses 8 to 9, I read as I finalize. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is uh, commendable, if there is any, any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, Think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. And the God of peace will be with you. Brothers and sisters.